the opposition NDC and its caucus in Parliament is sending fire the way of the Bank of Ghana uh, Governor Dr. Ernest Addison for a recent report detailing severe losses made by the central bank in 2022. Uh, the group has issued a 21-day ultimatum to the governor and his deputies to leave. The bank's financial statement for last year shows more than 60 billion Ghana cities in losses, which the minority and the NDC put down to the governor's incompetence. Kweku Asante now reports. Following the adjournment of parliament, the minority are taking its war against the central bank governor a notch higher. Speaking at a news conference, minority leader Dr. Kiso Atoforsen announced that if the Bank of Ghana governor and his deputies did not resign in 21 days, they will be mobilizing to occupy the central bank. We in the NDC call for the resignation, immediate resignation of the governor of the central bank and his deputies within 21 days from today. We are resolved to embark on popular action to occupy the central bank and drive out the team of inept, callous, and criminally minded mismanagers of, of our finances to save the Bank of Ghana. We call on all of you that if the governor fails to act by resigning, you join us to march to occupy the Bank of Ghana in 21 days' time to force him out and to force his deputies out the minority details the key reasons. The report revealed the following astonishing facts. One, the Bank of Ghana recorded a staggering loss of 60.8 billion Ghana cities, which is equivalent of 6 billion US dollars. This is twice the amount we are to receive from the recent IMF bailout. The NPP government chose the easy, reckless, lazy and criminal part of printing money. Dr. Ernest Addison, who is now known as the printer of money, has conspired with members of economic mismanagement team, led by Alaji Dr. Bawumia and the elect inept finance minister Ken Oforiata, aka One Program, One Bond, to destroy Ghana's central bank. Atoforsen alleged that the central bank is aiding key government officials to illegally pack money to buy votes in 2024. It is now obvious that many more members of the Ekufuado Dr. Bawumia government will likely be keeping several more millions of dollars in their bedrooms and building a war chest to illegally buy electoral votes at both party primaries and the upcoming general elections. Maybe uh, it's not only Madam Cecilia Dapa who has kept some money in her bedrooms. They also have a response for the central bank blaming the debt exchange program for the losses. So what will the NDC MPs do if the Bank of Ghana governor decide to still stay at post? Minority Chief Whip governs Kwame Agboja has some answers. What will we do after the 21 days? They shouldn't try us. We have options, like we always say. Our options are in our head. They should not try it because we are capable of deploying options that will get him out of office by force if he refused to go within the 21 days. The ball is now in the court of central bank governor Ernest Addison and his deputies who have been given 21 days to pack bag and baggage and head out. Kwiku Asante for Joy News, Accra.